What's up Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a reaction video. Today we are doing something very different. I'm reacting to my first ever theory and my second ever theory uh, on Five Nights at Freddy's uh, and they are very cringe. Uh, that's all I can remember. Um, <laughs> I haven't watched these in a long time so this first one came out on the 27th of October 2016. That is when I joined the FNAF YouTube game. Um, and that was during the sister location time, so I, I obviously like watched Matt Pat's videos and I watched his uh, live stream where he figured out Dream Theory might be a thing from FNAF 4. Then FNAF World came out and then sister location came out and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to join the theory game, I have some things to say. And I say them in this video and it is actually awful and we're going to see how awful it is by watching today. I have a few things to address, first of all, I have a terrible voice right now because I am not feeling very well. <laughs> I am ill. The other thing to address is that this is going to be very cringe. Uh, I remember that I used PNGs, um, like I have the ones that I use now, but I, I had awful ones back in the day and we were going to see that and my voice was very high pitched and uh, non-puberty sized. Non-pubic. Oh god. Oh no. What have I gotten myself into? Anyway, let's watch my first ever FNAF theory. I can make ice cream. Although I only did this was heavily inspired by game theory, by the way. So we have this nice little intro going on. Casual bongos, the mini game, the speech from baby. It's all connected. It's a cool little intro that I don't really care about anymore because it's terrible. It's literally the worst editing. Um, and I don't know what's going on. It's so long as well. Like, get into the video, man. Come on. Why did that happen? So scary, man. So scary. Theory Thursday! Oh god, that's like a default. Oh my god. Hey everyone, welcome to Theory Thursday, the show where I create theories that can be half proven about, well, anything, really. Let's talk sister location. Oh god. <laughs> the first installment to the FNAF uh, and I must say, probably one of the best games in the series. No, Seriously, it's not the best game. So many more mechanics added to the game. Are there? The um, okay, I guess. Doors, I guess. Flashing lights. I made a video on, on it. A Freddy Fazbear mask every time you see a wild cheek or a Bonnie or something. Oh yeah, and don't forget to wind up the music box. That was taken straight from Matt Pat. <laughs> that was stole. That was straight up stolen from Matthew Patrick himself. Oh my gosh, I I used to watch his videos and be like, hmm, how can I make my own content? That is basically the same thing, but makes different theories on uh, similar games. Hmm. Maybe I just copy what he does. <laughs> Maybe I just copy everything, uh, and then people won't notice because it's a different character, it's a different voice. Um, and so yeah, I basically used to steal content. <laughs> um, sort of. Yeah. My yeah. My theories back then were very. Um, tragic in that sense because they were very um, all over the place and I think the other thing I, I forgot to address at the beginning of the video is how I used to make these videos because now obviously I have like a, a good system of doing it I, I script the videos uh, I, I do the research I script the videos then I record all of it and then I edit the sound and I edit the video and I, I do it in like a timeline sort of way I don't do it separately I just do it as it goes, and then I watch the video, see if I want to make any changes, and then there you go, there's the video done. I used to do it so differently, and bear in mind, this was like the first video I ever properly tried to make. Um, so like, I used to do it so differently with the fact that I used to think of like sentences to say, like as I'm making the video. So I would say a sentence like, What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone. And then I would stop recording, and then I would edit that section. And then I would go, okay, so today my theory is on, and then I will edit that. And then my next section would be, 
sister location. So basically, Enid is Elizabeth. <laughs> No, I, like, I, I don't know what I was doing back then. I was just improvising, essentially, improvising stuff. I wasn't 100% improvising the theory. Obviously, I had some idea what I was going to talk about, but I didn't make a script or anything. And I kind of find that unbelievable at this point. Like, I cannot believe I did that. Um, and I have a lot of regrets, but it's made me into who I am today. So, yeah. Easter eggs in the past five games. <laughs> including FNAF World, have been yeah. completely weird and random. My editing has gotten and so much better. Surprisingly, that doesn't change in terms of sister location. It's also pretty clear that the yeah. endings of all the games are the most interesting parts. FNAF 3, Purple oh, I wouldn't say that in a, at, in at this current time. Spring Trap Suit. Five Nights 4, Crying Child gets a contagious bite by a Yellow Freddy suit. FNAF World. Not even the, the ending, really. The animatronics gets killed by one of his creations. And again, sister location doesn't change. And it gives us some really juicy information <laughs> about the game. Right. Which just completely confuses half of us. Seriously, I would have thought the real ending would be the fake ending. And the fake ending would be the real ending. It's just, it doesn't make sense. But today, we will make some sense. First that is first, awful. Let's talk about that what is you actually watched awful. the first minute in the video. You're watching the completion first of the cupcake minigame. Mini yeah. The one that you must complete in order to reach the fake ending. Yeah. You saw that Circus Baby had given out cupcakes to multiple children. but then I love how when I stumble I don't bother to re-record. However, going right back to the beginning of the game makes a girl appear and walk over to Baby for Am the Am I going to point out the eyes? But as soon as she gets near... Baby opens up her endoskeleton and eats the girl whole. Endoskeleton? Yeah. What you hear in the game isn't what you heard when I played it to you. What you heard is a part of Baby's commentary God. talking to you see, about... See, you see, you can tell that I, I did make... I did record this on the spot because I had already edited that entire section before recording my voice lines. <laughs> So I, I was obviously like, oh my god, I have this brilliant idea, you know, we have baby talking, and we have the actual story happening on screen, why don't we merge them together, put some casual bongos in as music, and then I edited it, and then I was like, okay, now time to record, and then I recorded this section, obviously, and you can kind of tell, uh, <laughs> you can kind of tell when I put it like that. ...to you about a story that happened, that lines up perfectly with this mini oh, game. Oh brilliant, you're just going to put it on text. The girl walks okay. up to her, she grabs the ice cream, then Baby doesn't feel the same anymore. Why not? Probably because the girl's soul is now in her body, controlling her. But also, note the change in <laughs> controlling, eye colour. Okay. In the mini game, she has blue eyes, but straight afterwards they go green. And they're the green classic the game, the game theory point. <laughs> However, something weird that kind of lines up with this theory about a child's dead body being stuffed in the suits is this little easter egg a guy named Popped Goes found. Popped Goes. Here is the blueprint in the game that shows Funtime Freddy, but in his stomach you see two legs? A body? It's weird because this that, part of Freddy's oh body God. is called That diagram is tank, so awful. And it's right next to the voice mimic or luring. If Baby had this too, then this theory could hold pretty solid. But something we haven't exactly talked about yet is who the little girl is and possibly if she is related to us, the okay. character that we play as. Something that has been bothering me since the release of Sister Location is the fact that the voice acting in this game is way more developed than just What on earth was that? Meaning we can really dive deep into the lore. Why is Alice We have in three main Wonderland voice actors. Here. One for Handy, <laughs> one for a little girl every night and the last for supposedly baby. These characters are but awful. What is interesting? Why did I make these? Is what the little girl says every night, and how when it is all put together, it makes just a little story. I sound two years old. Daddy, why won't you let me play with her? Daddy, you let the other children go see her. Why won't you let me go? Daddy, just once let me go play with her. She's so, so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make, make her, her just, just for me? me? Daddy, Daddy, she, she can, can make, make balloons. balloons. Have you Daddy, seen her make, make balloons? balloons? Oh, Daddy, let 
rugby go to her? I love her British accent. Daddy isn't watching. Daddy isn't watching. This little girl can see an animatronic <laughs> that can make balloons and says love Elizabeth. That she is pretty and shiny. Okay. She goes up to her while her father, the creator of the animatronics, isn't watching. And then what happens? Well, she if done got this scooped. is the little girl we've been talking about so far, it's pretty obvious. This is so uncomedic. from Baby and then gets lured into her storage tank. It's a very interesting story and can mean quite a lot, actually. And in just those ten what sentences, does that even mean? a lot has been given away. It can mean a lot, actually. She's Doesn't the daughter specify. of the creator of the animatronics. Right, William Afton. Who is that, you might ask? William Afton. <laughs> Co-owner with... He you could tell I was trying to build tension there, but there was no tension at all because there's just no sound. There's no music. And you could hear the wha before, like, before I went there. That's, that's funny. Uh, I'm going to play that again. Just so if you didn't hear it. Of the creator of the animatronics. Who is Who that, is that you might ask? ask? Whoa. <laughs> William uh, Ashton. Co-owner with Henry. Yeah. The Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Was, and creator I wrote that in white text. Why? This is from the book Silver Eyes. Silver Eyes, right. But how do Based we know book? the book is canon? to sister location. Oh god. Well, that's pretty easy. Oh god. <laughs> At the beginning, when you first run over the game, you hear William's Afton's okay. name being said. Okay. And Scott Cawthon even said so himself, that the whole game is canon to the book. So, the Right, question, but canon and continuity who, are very different, who, Ozone. Who are you? I'm Ozone. It's clear that you're related in some way to these characters, otherwise... The cropping. You wouldn't hear the commentary of this girl. And... I'd like to say that the evidence. I'm, I'm going to say being, it's William, aren't I? William Afton okay. himself. Why? Let's look at the evidence. Honestly, okay, that was also stolen from Matt Pat, by the way. Um, this kind of it kind of had credit at the time. Sort of like pro probably not for a long time, but I think it was at least my gut reaction because you know the fact that the the daughter is talking about daddy and it seems to be coming it, towards the player is like kind of sus right and um I, I i feel like this had credibility back at this time i feel like i don't know what matt pat said in his first sister location video i i feel like he might have even said that we play as william because there was there were the two theories going around that either it was William, or it was there's two purple guys, which we now know there technically are two purple guys. Uh, but I think back then it was like coined purple and pink guy, and that doesn't exist. Okay, there's no pink guy. Um, but yeah, I, I think back at... Uh, this was a really difficult time to kind of theorise, I feel like, because there, there was a lot of new information and loads of characters' names had been put out there for us to delve deep into and people were speculating that the books were completely canon as well so um that threw a lot of spanners into the works that's all i really remember from that time the evidence first of all in the book it is revealed that william is the purple, purple guy, guy right and who do you see looking at you in the mirror purple in the eyes ending? purple guy a guy with purple eyes yeah. maybe purple skin as well you don't know <laughs> point number two the girl addresses okay. you as daddy, okay, dude. and that's all you hear, almost haunting you. So, that must mean that you are the dad. Must Point it. number three. <laughs> On night four, you're in a spring lock suit, supposedly spring trap, True. which lines up to the purple guy jumping into a spring, a spring trap suit <laughs> in Five Nights 3. I I don't call that out. But, you may have already pointed out, I'm... I'm just going way too far with this theory, and I'm looking, way too far, my dude. I'm overlooking some crucial details. For example, if you're the purple guy in Nights Three, why don't you die in this spring trap suit in Sister Location when you actually died in FNAF Three? What? Or if you die in the real ending of Sister Location, but you also died in FNAF Three, then how have you died twice? It's weird because. Although there's a lot of evidence suggesting you are the purple so, guy. So, I think I got bored of editing. Evidence 
suggesting that you are not. So that's why I'm going to leave it there for today. And I got bored of editing this very under-edited video. <laughs> and I put... I spent the last... I put a, a gif of Squidward dabbing for the last minute because I didn't even think people were going to watch that far <laughs> anyway. And I don't think anyone did, to be fair. I don't think anybody ever caught this. <laughs> Make you all wait a whole entire week. Oh my to gosh. See who you actually are and what the real law is for sister location. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys Please have a newfound sure appreciation for like my videos and these subscribe. days. All uh, you have to do is click on the exotic button. Speaking bottles. of which, I know, they're exotic. Exotic bottles. Exotic bottles. Ah, oh, I love exotic bottles. Do you? Don't you? So new eggs benedict. They always seem to be foods. I don't know why. God, I hate myself. I hate my past self. I would kill my past self. <laughs> I mean, don't quote that, but I I would kill my past self. That is awful. That would be the worst video I've ever created. I don't have much else to say about that. That was just bad on every single level. Uh, the theory was terrible. The editing was awful. My voice was terrible. I didn't cut out parts where I messed up. And I got bored and lazy and this is how the video turned out. Which is funny because I believe this has like 15,000 views. <laughs> so it was all worth it in the end. Um, all of that hard work. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and now my videos are edited a lot better and are a lot less lazy. Um, and hopefully you see the quality in that uh, because it has been seven years of video editing uh, experience and YouTube experience. Uh, let's move on to the second video that I ever made, which I believe is about Ennard. Okay, so second theory. Uh, first of all, there's going to be an intro here, and that's because my past channel, like my past self, used to be called Science Appliance because it's kind of like the game theorists, where I would <laughs> I would apply science to video games. So. It's a science appliance. Let's just begin the freaking video. It's banger music though. I used to be my logo, it was sick. Recently, Sister Location has got a huge update involving the custom night that honestly, I didn't know how they were going to do. But they did it well. They have Why? to have a few secrets along okay. the ride as well. I, I probably but used I to think that was so noticed, scary. But the latest cutscenes are so crucial for theory okay. and FNAF as a whole. So this came so out when the cutscene. Uh, when the, know, when the new cuts released or this custom night. Sister location with yeah. two new cutscenes. So today we aim to look at them and find out what it all means. Brilliant. So let's not waste any time because I'm telling you I have so much to tell you about. The first cutscene so is just <laughs> seven minutes weird. worth, in fact. Or at least end weird. It begins with this guy in a purple shirt walking down the street with people waving Purple to shirt, him. purple shirt. Not that weird, is it? Oh, he's but turning into a zombie. Guy, things, uh oh. As you can see, start to change. Uh oh. For one, this guy's skin begins going grey or brown. Uh oh, he's vigorously or, shaking. Or whatever. It goes murky, and for a second point, people start to support disappearing while others frown. Disappo Later disappearing. On again in the scene, you see him going. Yes, you guessed it. Purple. purple. His eyeballs fall out. His clothes his get tattered. Fall out. He basically becomes <laughs> a purple guy. Oh. oh. But if you thought that that was weird, look at this next costume. Do I just not address oh, that sorry. in any way? It's pitch black. Let me turn it's the camera on. Michael. Listen. Why I am I talking it. over it? I found oh. it. It was right where you I, I want to do a whole video essay they on this there. speech because it is they incredible. It is overlooked, I think, in the community. They thought I was it's you. very, like, kind of forgotten. <gasps> and I found her. I put, put her back, back together. together. Just yes. like you asked oh, yeah. me to. She's free now. But something is wrong with me. Demolition inevitable. I should be Best dead, music in the series. But I'm not. I've been living in shadows. 
There is only one thing that still creeps me up this day. To do now. I'm, I'm going, going to come, come find you. you. I'm, I'm going, going to come, come find you. you. Did you see it? The spring trap. Did you see it? The prison bars. Of course, I saw it. <laughs> These two cutscenes are surprisingly the answer to the problem we had last video. Who are you? You are William Ackles. Oh my god. Like I said in the video. You're not getting the I message. There is more evidence of it not being him than it being him. But due to those two cutscenes, I am wrong. Why? Let me show you in the way that I'm probably just going to improvise at this point. Uh, what? Where the there was no script. In the sister location. <laughs> A short term answer is in the basement of the purple guy's house. Good. How do you know? Okay. But first, when you type 19, we're getting somewhere in the keypad in the secret ending, revelations entered room. The TV's display pictures of the FNAF 4 house. Okay. Not enough evidence. How about the Golden Freddy sitting on the desk with you, all around the house in? Five Nights 4. Yeah. They could be security cameras sure. to make sure that the children are doing well. Good, good Still theory. Still enough evidence? Well, how about the map of the whole place? Okay, you look familiar? you've proven it. Because it should. You've proven it. It is the exact same layout shape as the house <laughs> in FNAF 4. Meaning it's either an amazing coincidence, this place is above the house, or it's below the house. And as I said before, it's most likely to be below the house. Because you go down an elevator to get to the we get, to get it to the required <laughs> floor, so we know it is below the house. What on earth has that got anything to use to prove? A lot actually, but to do this systematically, let's begin with the two cutscenes. Cutscene A has an ending where the purple guy literally pukes out loads of metal into a sewer place. But think about it for a second. Is this Ennard? It could very well be. <laughs> oh Notice my gosh. Not only is he a this is a, metal, such a slow video. But he also has eyes. More than the two on his face, or one on his face, but more yeah, on his body. There are multiple low Seriously, definition eyes on The whole game is Ennard. pretty much about eyes. But Laura's eyes closed, baby switch of eye kill. Of I am pretty sure this is what Matt Pat said. Also, as I just said, Ennard's many eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Even if you can't see Ennard's full body, since the location is a lot about the eyes. Jump scare. Yeah. And right here. Under his nose. nose. Yeah. There you right go. Right there is in one clear eye, and also one not so clear eye. But does this actually mean anything? This could lead to our belief that Ennard is the one in the sewer. Spat out by the purple guy for two reasons. Well, yeah. Firstly, at the end of the cutscene, many eyes appear in the gap, and secondly, and most significant, said by just one quote, "There's a part of me in every body." Good theory. Don't you know where that's from. The teaser image. Oh god. The teaser image of Ennard. There. And a notice part the of grammar. It's not everybody. everybody. It's everybody. If you are an official grammar Nazi. Don't worry, I am too. Grammar then you Nazi. will notice there's oh, a God. space between every and body. Yeah, okay, brilliant. You would all assume that I'm still, meant to say every I am still me but after all these as years. As confirmed, you would be wrong. This is an intentional mistake, if you like. Every body, meaning everyone's body. So saying that Enid is literally, or for this matter, physically in everyone's body is huge. He was inside of the purple guy's body. He was inside baby's body. He is like a soul controlling everyone. Also, for more evidence of this, what? that cutscene where he be rolling down the street, he be rolling to the beat once it is out that, of okay. his body. Okay, that was just not he just needed. He stands up completely fine. Probably thinking, yeah, what the hell okay. just happened to me? Okay, yeah. I mean, that's what I would say. He be rolling me, down the street, anyway, he be rolling the to the beat. Of today. So if you want me to get more and have loads more comment down <laughs> below like and subscribe I'm oh i'm so convincing right now if you would like this hang on a second to carry on thank you i wait 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 i talked about one of the mini games i talked about one of the cutscenes i did not even address the other one <laughs> i was like okay so there's two new cutscenes here like have a watch of 
this entire cutscene, right? Have a watch of it. It's really cool. Demolition inevitable stuff. Very nice. Did you see the spring trap? Okay. Who cares? Let's just talk about the other one. <laughs> um, and I love how in that cutscene that we dismissed, it literally like kind of confirms that we play as Michael in this location. Well, I wouldn't say confirms, but it's it's heavily implied because he's talking about his father and um it's like connected to the game and stuff. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. This was eventful and I want to explore more of my stupid FNAF theories from the past. So if you want to see that, then make sure that you like this video and comment below. And I will do that uh, because I want to see how stupid I was back in the FNAF uh, sister location and FNAF 6 days. Because I actually think I didn't make any more sister location videos. I actually think I went straight... Uh, onto Pizzeria Simulator, so that is probably where we're gonna go next. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!